For this experiment you will need a tall retort stand, a number of clamps, some string, and to measure the string, a meter stick, and on the end of the string, a mass, and to measure the period of the pendulum, a photo gate, and to record those times from the photo gate, an interface such as a lab pro, and to display those times, a calculator. Now in trial one of this experiment we create a pendulum that has a length of one meter, place the bob of the pendulum in the center of the photo gate so the beam is blocked. Release it and measure the period as the pendulum goes through the photo gate. Now this is the program will be used to measure the period of the pendulum. So for trial one, we pull the pendulum back, release it. We'll measure the period of the pendulum for three complete oscillations. You can see at the top of the screen the average period is 2.003 seconds for a pendulum that is one meter long. Now in trial two we shorten the string by 10 centimeters so now the length of the pendulum is 90 centimeters, 0.9 meters. Pull the bob back and let it oscillate through the photo gate and measure the period. And again, we'll measure the period for three complete oscillations. So at the top of the screen here you can see for a 90 centimeter long pendulum the period is 1.9016 seconds. And we'll just continue shortening the pendulum by 10 centimeters each time and measure the period.
Now here's the last trial with a pendulum of length 20 centimeters, 0.2 meters. And again, we pull the mass back and let it oscillate through the photo gate and measure the period of the pendulum. And so the period of a pendulum that is 0.2 meters long is 0 0.8989 seconds. Now with this information and the worksheet that accompanies this video, determine the relationship between the length of the pendulum and its period of oscillation.